Hey, what's up, Praxis? How you doing this evening? food in me. Jeez. Hardly eating today. I mean, today's special was chimichangas at the uh, Mexican restaurant across the street, so. Yep, we're going to be building here real soon. First got finish eating. Catfishing you know, all the parts are right next to me. We're gonna go over the specs of the bill. Figure I just go start streaming. We'll get everyone in here and and uh, we're briefed on what's going on this evening and all that stuff. Get everyone a chance to say howdy. Well, I don't need no thermal paste. It comes with thermal paste. A 10 10 for the most part stuck with the same stuff. What case did I get? Um, I should tell you. So I got the receipt in well to me um, rather than digging it all up. I got the. Now I got a. Oh, I know what email went to it. Oh, frick, do I don't have that email in here. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, son of a biscuit! Ah, uh, hold on, chat. Frick, I just remembered something. Oh, dang it. Well, frick, I'm not getting an iPhone. That sucks. I was supposed to go to Costco today and upgrade to an iPhone. Wow. Today was the last day. That was stupid of me. I know, 1010. Nicole, I think they're closed. The Costco is still open for another 30 minutes or 45 minutes, but the problem is, is that the cellular booth is not. What's up, in Johns? It's a blessing? Oh, brother. Yeah, that's the problem, is there's a cell, there's a cell booth. And I can't do it online, I don't think. Let me look. Don't think they'll let me. Yeah, because here's the here. Yeah, save up eight hundred dollars from eleven twenty four to eleven thirty. Dang it! Oh, wait a minute. This says 12, 1 to 12. I think they just extended it a week. Oh, we're saved. We're saved. They just extended it. Wow, that's lucky. Oh, my gosh. I have Verizon. You just upgraded yourself? There you go. I Look, I'm, I'm very nervous about switching to Verizon. Or uh, 18. I'm sorry. Apple. I've had, I've had Android since I was 16 years old. I've never had an Apple phone. Uh, but I will say their camera quality is absolutely incredible. Camera slash video quality. Hey, John McGee, thanks for the sub, man. Welcome, welcome. Oh, 
you know, my paper towel. Love iPhone just works every time. Yeah. So, I mean, I, are most of you guys Apple or Android? I know it's optimized. It's Apple, Apple, Android, Android. Uh, Drew's Networks, yes, for the most part. I was actually just reading a new article that talked about how Apple users have surpassed um, have Apple users have surpassed Android users. Yep. Check this out, chat. Apple takes Android to pass 50% uh, share of U.S. smartphones. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. Pretty darn nuts. That's a pretty that's a pretty crazy increase. I mean, look at that's that's insane. This is over the course of four years. They went thirty five percent market share to fifteen fifty percent. That's nuts. Crazy. Absolutely insane. You gotta get used to them telling you what you need. What do you mean, Fredo? Yeah, she's. It is kind of crazy. I do have. I do own some Apple. Holy crap! Who's in Tesla today? Holy shiznit! Tesla went up like almost eight percent today. Woo wee! Got that portfolio up for sure. I don't know why. I didn't look. I don't know if someone else know. Let's see if the news are. News is for Tesla. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, this is so, there's all this negativity with Twitter. It blows my mind. Uh, Elon's advocacy of unfettered speech on Twitter and his dismantling of content moderation on the social media, media site has caused a growing number of consumers to turn sour on Musk Tesla brand. This has taken quite a bit of, out of Tesla stock. What are you talking about? This is crazy. That, I, I swear, it, it, there's just so many people it's, that's trying to poo-poo what he's doing with Twitter. So much so that, like, Tesla's actually doing really, really good. And it's just, it's like, oh my gosh. It, it, and it makes it, it makes it appear that, you know, um, they're like all of, all of, all of, you know, Twitter's against Elon. Which was crazy because there's actually more Twitter users now than I think ever before. It's just, a, here's the thing. It's the people that whine are the loudest, right? Like you could have two whiny kids in a house of 30, 40 people and you might think that the whole house is, you know, burning down. But the whiners are just loud is all. More used for the wrong opinion. Well, here's the thing though. You might, you would say that, but, um, you know, some of the metrics that are used to monitor hate speech and whatnot aren't increasing with that. So, you know, it's not like it's, it's not like it's a, there's a growing number of toxicity. Yeah, you know, that's interesting. So we'll see what happens. But, oh my gosh, I just... Are you ready not to go on trip? Yeah, I know, Sheesh. Very easy. Yeah, people don't get that, though. People have not gotten that memo. You guys want to see what I spent a bunch of money on already? 
I got this geek coming. I already got the pants, but the jacket I just got was way too big. Oh, it's a sharp looking gi. It felt nice. I had to send it back to get it uh, exchanged. And then I also bought uh, this one too. This is gonna be cool. Cause it says uh, discipline equals freedom on the front of it and then get after it in the back. That's cool. I got they're they're all they're all 25% off or 30%, I think 25 or 30% off over Black Friday, so I had to buy two geese. So I should be good for the rest of the year. Because I'm I'm use I, I use them up. Uh, what am I chowing down on? Uh, chimichanga from a Mexican restaurant. I'm almost finished. I'm going to start building. I just I got to get something in me. What's up, DJ? What the heck is an iPhone pocket? What's wrong with this chair? I built this chair. It kind of squeaks a little bit. And it's a little bit... I probably need to tighten some bolts down. I actually put this chair together online. This chair was free. I put this chair together on Twitch. Remember that? Oh, crap, DJ. Stay warm. It was definitely getting colder over here. I got this little space heater going at me because it's getting cold in the office. It squeaks. Oh my gosh. Has Apple authorized you to be allowed to use their products? What are you talking about, Fredo? Space Ray can be going out? Yeah. This stream is not sponsored by Apple. Don't start that nonsense. What's up, Robinson? Eat some Mexican food. Be right back. Go ahead and screw it. I'm splurging a little bit. I got some AW root beer, which I haven't had in years. I usually don't drink dark sodas at all. <clears throat> Second time I've had soda this week. It's not good. Had that cherry lime made the other day. I'm gonna start watching the chat. I'm gonna start freaking I'm gonna start getting fat. Here it comes. So yesterday I was uh was I went to Jiu Jitsu last night and then just this morning but last night there's all these big guys that come to class. There's these two guys uh, one's a professional fight, MMA fighter. The guy's like six foot six. And he's 270 pounds or some shit, isn't it? The guy's a freaking tank. Oh my gosh. You get done rolling with a guy like that. And then right after him, rolled with another guy that was six foot three, 285. Oh my gosh. Felt like I burnt a thousand calories just fighting those two. Hey, Robinson, yeah, uh, there's a, a join button on desktop. It might not show up on mobile, because I know there's a lot of people that uh, aren't uh, aren't seeing that on mobile for some reason. But, no, for some people it does, for some people it doesn't. I don't know if it's a discrepancy between Apple and Android, or... But, uh, yeah, so on, on YouTube, Following a channel is, or a, a Twitch follow is equivalent to a YouTube subscription. A Twitch subscription means uh, YouTube membership. So instead of subscribers, you got members, which I know is weird. Almost done, chat. Ugh, I'm just I'm so freaking hungry. My brother picked up his deer today. 
I should get my deer any day. I'm gonna have all the deer meat in the freezer over there. The last time I lost weight is because I was eating deer meat every day. So looking forward to that. Because I need to stop eating out so much. I just because I don't have a kitchen. And I just been man, I just I've been exercising so freaking much the past couple days. My metabolism just skyrockets. Skyrockets. I can't stop eating. Billion price tag tour will go down as one of the most overpaid tech acquisitions in the history of MMA deals on the street. That is crazy. Crazy. Nuts. Which, by the way, chat, if you have not bought your Tesla stock, you need to do so. If you ever thought about getting into Tesla and haven't, for whatever reason, now is the time. Don't wait. Bye, bye, bye. It's getting ready. It's getting ready. I'm, I'm, I just, just you wait. You clip me now. Now is the time. Here in a couple of years, it'll be 500 bucks. And you'll be wishing you got on that daggum financial train. This is not financial advice. No. What is financial advice, though, is you don't want to invest in the stock market, which you can afford to lose. It's like gambling. Tesla is a school bus contact you invest. Yeah. So uh, one of the guys came to jiu-jitsu class today with the Ford Lightning. He had his, got his hands on one. Pretty nice vehicle. That being said, you guys want the ranges on that sucker? Have you heard? With the range of the F what? it's it, he told me it's because it's cold. Well, like 200 miles. Because the cold kills it. I mean, it's really nice. I mean, if you're a city city slicker, you got places you can charge everywhere. But holy smokes! That being said, he said he gets to charge for free at his work. Which, that would be nice. I don't know how long that'll last. How fast does it charge? I don't know. But, I mean, if you can drive to work and have done the job, it'd be pretty convenient. All right, I'm done with this. Not bad for a $9 chimney changer. What's up, Paul? I tried calling you back. Then you ignored me. Like a noob. Oh, wash the dishes. I guess that's a good reason. Uh. All 
Okay. Let me disinfect my desk here. And then we'll get the fix. Get the bill. Do you have a build station? Yeah, we're gonna, <coughs> we're gonna do it right here. I got a big enough desk. I'm gonna put this camera up here. Move that back. Oh, shut up, biscuit. I just lost that. Mm -hmm. There we go. That'll work. Get this from being so blurry. There we go. Wow, that desk looks really scratched up from that angle. What is all that? Huh. <coughs> all right, so let's uh, go over what we got today. We got this uh, i7, um, of course, uh, LG A7700 socket, 13700K processor. We got uh, we got Windows USB key. Um, we got uh, 32 gig of DDR5 um, running at 6,000 free uh, 6,000 megahertz. So uh, that should be a nice addition there. We got our freaking thousand watt power supply to make this puppy go. We got our cooler. Keeping the processor nice and chilled. And we got this freaking motherboard. And I'm gonna move all this out of the way so you can see just how freaking big this GPU is. Check this out. This is insane. Look how much bigger this freaking GPU is. And it's like double the weight. Double the weight. This is the GPU. This is the motherboard. Like it's, 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 it's like a, you know, freaking Great Dane trying to interface with a Chihuahua here. It's like, what the frick? This is nutty. Absolutely nutty. So yeah, we're going to have to, uh, it's going to be fun. Hopefully it'll fit. All right, so first things first, let's get the case opened up. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Red Ted, it was uh, 12, I think it was 1300 after it all said and done. Uh, it's a Lee and Lee um, mesh, I think is what it is. With all, all, I'll give you guys the rundown on here. So I can get it out of the plastic here so we can take a good look at it. Oh, thank you, Sheesh. You want this case so bad? I mean, it looks nice. All right, let's take, uh, let's take a gander. She's a, she's a tall puppy. A little taller than I was thinking. So, uh, got a nice glass 
side here, easy access to everything. Here's the front, the two big fans. All the, uh, not a lot of ports on the top here, um, but you know, enough, enough. Should be good, should have any problems. Yeah, everything you need. I don't, I don't need, we don't need a lot. I mean, it's just, it's just a case. I'm not somebody that, I don't care, I don't care um, so much about the looks of the case. I, uh, it's a case. I'm, I'm going to put it behind the computer. I'm never going to look at it. All it is is the housing for what really matters. Just like that comes out. It's all in piece. Cool deal. So I left the kit in here for this here. Looks like they gave me some... Uh, some uh, cable management stuff, screws, um, zip ties, all kind of junk, which I'll explain that. Yeah, this, this case was pretty cheap. It was, I mean, I think it was only, uh, it was only, um, how much was this case? Hold on, let me look. Uh, the case was... Here it is. Oh, oh, they gave me a... Oh. They gave me a, they gave me a, a, a key for Gotham Knights and Red Out Two, whatever Red Out Two is. That's kind of cool. Where the heck is that? So I have a Fractal Design Meshify as well, Axe. That's my current um, case. They emailed me a receipt. I'm trying to find it. What the heck? Micro Center. I know Red Dead, doesn't it? I don't know why it's not coming up. There we go. Uh, your receipt. Nope, that's not it. Wow, they did not email me the receipt for that. I'll have to look at it. All right, let's go ahead and uh, <coughs> first things first, motherboard. Was that? Oh, was that a Wi-Fi? Uh, for Wi-Fi uh, deal. Standoffs? What do you mean standoffs? Why don't I want to put it in yet? I did build the last PC. It's been a while though. Yeah, there's stand-ups in. There's stand oh frick. Sorry. Hit the mouse button. Um there's standoffs in here. Yeah, we're good. Standoffs are in here. We can uh it's easier to install stuff on the motherboard first. Ah, nah. We can do it all. Really? At least everything is, is supported. Um, all right. Well, never mind. We'll do that. Okay, we'll put on the motherboard first. YouTube chat is always right, right? If something goes up, um, you guys owe me a new computer. <sighs> Static bag here. Yes, a new AIO. Or new um, PC build, sorry. Uh, Bandito, yeah, I'm going to check it out here in a second. We'll do everything out of the case first. It's been a long time since I've done this.
on the stack bag and I can do this. Alright, here's the processor. I'm gonna put the processor in first. I got this guy for stupid cheap. This was, uh, got this for 350 bucks, I think, on sale. This processor, which I thought was crazy good. Uh, cr crazy good deal compared, considering what it was used to normally is. All right, so let's take that out, take that out. I gotta remove this, don't I? Install a processor, then remove and keep the cover. Well, well this cover won't move it. What? I'm gonna take that off. Oh, it comes off on its own. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Let's identify. I should get you guys real close in the action. I want that. Which way does this go in? Um, where is the mark on it? Thermal paste on the pins. <laughs> oh, good grief. Um, which corner has that marking on it? I don't see it. I see it on the processor. I'm looking for the top corner, yeah, I just I don't see the... I know there's a notch on it. Um, usually there's a, a, a marker on one of the corners. There is here, on this processor, I mean, you see it right here. Yeah, I don't see it on the, on the board, though. You definitely don't want to jack this up, because those pins aren't... Oh, they jack that up. Wow, I don't see it. This is going crazy. Well, it can only go one of two ways. It's either going to be this corner or this corner. I don't see anything. Oh, there we go. Wait a minute. That's it right there. I see it. It's kind of underneath the deal. Oh, frick. Dadgum. Fuck, I just dropped a freaking brand new iPhone. I think it landed on the wrong side. Right side. <laughs> yeah, frick, all right, you can go right this. Okay, so this one goes on first. Now, do I want to... Do I want to freaking clamp this down on... That's just going to pop off? Is this just gonna pop off if I, okay. So if I put this down. So just come down, I just, man, I don't like pressing on it. Man. Okay, well, so. Oh, frick. That 
that's scary. All right, CPU's in. Yeah. No, I think we're good. I think we're good. It dropped right in there, so. Um, all right, memory, get that in there. You damage the pins? Do what? back hold on a second let me look said I damaged the pins it is damaged how do you know how can you tell Donuts in your PC. Oh, good grief. Unless you guys are seeing something I don't. Oh, wait a minute. From this angle. Hold on. this angle frick me <laughs> I think I did bend them shoot from that angle oh my gosh I think I did bend it guys right freaking there right freaking there Use your phone to zoom in on it. Pend it back. Good grief. Hold on, can I get a little focus? I don't know if it'll get focus. I don't know if I can force the focus. Well, is my processor okay? And there's no pins on the processor. You can bend, you can't bend the back. You're more likely to damage the CPU. My board is pretty hard to see. All right, hold on. Let me take a close-up picture and I'll send it on Discord. Hold on. I'm gonna take a very Yeah, when the light, once the light, hold on, I'm gonna put you guys over here for a second. All right, get on Discord, I'm posting the picture. Frick me.
All right. They might bend back. Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to see how many pins took a hit. See if I can zoom in on here. Do not bend the pins. I want to bend the pins. It looks like it's two, maybe three pins. Yeah. Three pins. Dang it. Well, frick. Cody will fix it for you. Just build it and see. picture again. Holy frick, I can't. I need like I need light. Oh we're not building that to collect crap part. Yeah. Yeah, those pins are really small. Frack me. Tell it, tell you did. Uh, I can't believe I did that. Son of a biscuit. I'll drive there for you. I'm close. Well, I mean, I don't know. Uh, so I got light on there now. Okay, there. So now you can really see. Yeah, okay. From that light angle, you can see multiple rows affected. Dang it. Yeah, if I move this light around. See, you see, from over here, it doesn't look like anything. But once you start moving the light, and once I saw it from a different light angle, like earlier, I was like, oh, frick. Jeez. What a freaking klutz. What a freaking klutz. Uh, what a freaking klutz! Wow. Yep. I'm a loser. That's that's all there is to it. Yeah, okay, now you can really see those two bent pins on the left there. Yeah. Yeah. This is why you, this is why you go AMD. Oh, brother. Yeah, you kind of you see it. Right right freaking there. Especially right in there two pins oh, 
Exactly. I should have put the motherboard in the case first. That that and then then that would that would have fixed it. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I, I don't. I don't. I'm not gonna lie about what happened. I mean, if it's it's, it's freaking my fault, it's freaking my fault. Is what it is. I. Geez, it's, uh, what a ditz. What a freaking no. Crack. Crack. How do you put the stupid cover back on? This damn stupid thing. Just bring the board. Do you know? No. Dang it. Oh, dang it. There we go. Caps back on. I'm not going to say it was bit out of the box. I freaking streamed myself online doing it. Even if I was entertaining the eye of doing it, I'd have like to delete the video, which I'm not doing that. It's it's I screwed it up. It's my bad. I'm I'm a freaking klutz. This is why we can't have nice things. And you know, that's dag nab it. Wow. Delete the bot. No, I'm not deleting the bid. No, I, I don't. Even if I was, even if I wasn't streaming, I, I would. I'm going. I will man up. My, it's my, my goof up. Dagging at it. What an idiot, Steven. You are a freaking idiot. Ugh. Wow. I, I definitely need to go like whip myself for being such a stupid idiot. How did I do that? Ugh. This is a sad play at the same time. This is terrible. Are you kidding me? I don't even fit there. How's this? How's this? How's this? If I can't get it returned, I'll have to buy another one. Yep. That's all there is to it. That was a uh, $300 mistake. Oh, frick. i got to put those cables in there. Yeah, I don't think I can make it to my percent before the close tonight. Let's see how long it takes me to get there. It's, it's not gonna be. Yeah, I'm not gonna make. I can't make. I know. I know. It's right next to the May school. I can't make it. I'm I'm fricked, chat. I'm fricked. I'm fricked. I'm gonna go in my bedroom and yeah, like. Beat a pillow to death. I don't know. Dad, gum. I can't believe I did that. Why? This is so stupid. What an idiot. What an idiot. It's the Christmas music. No, no. It's me. It's me. I am a failure at building PCs. I'm that. This is that was bad. So bad. How do you just fit in here? Putting everything away before I break anything else. There we go. I can't make it to Micro Center. Can't make it to Micro Center. Nope. 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 Too late. I'll go tomorrow. We'll see. See what they say. I'm gonna be honest. You should always be honest. Yep. Take the board out, shoot for content. I will shoot it if if if, if they don't take it back, you know, and which they don't have any reason to take it back. And uh, yeah. 
And that's, that's that. That is that. Wow. I'll sell on eBay some, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good God. Well, yeah, but now that people are telling me that if you put a, a PC or a CPU in there and it's got bent freaking pins in it, you could damage your CPU. Cody, I'm gonna, I'm no, I'm gonna freaking, I'm, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this motherboard to Micro Center get the same one from Micro Center. Frack! Frack! I can't believe I did that. I can't believe that, Jeff. I should believe that. But I don't. Son of a biscuit. Uh, they have it for three and nine. So, okay, yeah, um, maybe I'll take it back. It won't hurt to ask. It can be seen. It's supposed to be okay because the pins were bent down outside. So they didn't come out as zero. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They won't take it back. Well, they shouldn't take it back. They shouldn't take it back. Let's see. Let's uh, you know, micro center. Um, then. Pins, motherboard. Let's see. Um, uh, can I return this? I tried cleaning it and some pins bent. It's new. I thought I got some thermal paste on it. Uh, buddy, I guess bad for you. No. I'm not sure if this matters, but I bought it refurbished. I also don't know if I want to get exchanged in return. Dude, what did you do? I don't think I'll take that back once you find someone very clueless. I remember you get a magnifying set with a precision tweezers all available at Micro Center and start shooting pins. No, you screwed up. Heaven's best. Buy another. I mean, the only way they accept it back is if you lie and say your seat like this, which I don't recommend is it's likely to work because I'm, I think it likes to work because I surely wouldn't send it first probably like that. I will, but the thing is I already got an exchange this because the pins actually came back last time and the cashier opened it up to make sure the pins were okay. Holy frick. Wow. Wow. You could try, but I think it would be pretty unethical to do so. You did damage. I know it's like a certain Yeah, I, I, I'm not going to try to pull a fast one on him. You could try. Uh, I know we don't advocate for marks you pick. We build prayer because paying someone else to build a career for you is stupid. Even a GPU storage. I'm mainly the way I think about the dead because you come post trap people who shouldn't touch anything behind the glass panel. <laughs> for now, I just admire your pretty RGB pans for the outside. Wow. Good grief. That guy's rough. You are effed. Good luck. I found it easy just to use a razor blade and a magnifying glass. Hope, hopefully you're in grace with your purchase If you are, then that's the way to go. Uh, no, because I'm an accident plant cover components. That's just hard to face the bent pins once they don't fall under that. Oh, brother Craig. Microsoft will build your PC for you. You should go that route. Uh, uh, hey, Microsoft will work here. No, if you got an accident yes, Microsoft yes. Microsoft intends not to sell them on parts of the ghost. Uh, see if Best Buy has the same board, buy it, and then return the damaged board. I did this one because I was out of the return with us. Somehow the board quit posting it. Best Buy returned their end. Wow, that's scummy. So apparently, uh, that's a negative. And here's on my here's here's their website. Uh, dear Microsoft Center, Center 14, I want to ask you a question about replacement plan bond CPU and GPU. I will need to overclock on GPU for rendering. The GPU dies in the period of plan. Blah blah. Uh, and what about CPU? The CPU one's got bent or hit by secretary. Kind of bring the CPU to the center. Blah 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 blah. blah. 
Are there other plans that would they could cover the CPU bit pins or shocking by electricity? Um, CPU mother, if the power edge occurs and your system components fail, we would want to bench test them and ensure they are working before replacing them under warranty. We can't fix them yourself or replace them. Bent pins aren't covered in this. was like in the box. If it's user caused, not covered. A credit under a plan does not include tax. Uh, there answers that question. Yeah. No, I'm screwed. I'm not. I'm not even gonna try. I'm. I'm. I'm effed. I'm fricked. Um. Um. Yep. Son of a biscuit. I don't have buy on Amazon to return to Amazon. I ain't doing that. That's dishonest. I don't have any tools to fix it, Fred. And even then, I mean, is that worth risking a three hundred or well, what is retails for a five hundred dollar processor? It's not gonna toast the CPU. You guys sure about that? Oh, here we go. What's up guys, Alex here from ZBEC. Today I'm excited to show you our newest product, the ZBEC TriScreen 2. This is a laptop attachment, but that's to it. This is an Asus Zenith Extreme, a $550 X399 motherboard for AMD's Threadripper CPU. It was returned to me from one of the writers, and I was informed that it no longer works. Uh, okay, well this is gonna be anti pretty anticlimactic here. I fixed it! Ha! Ah. HP's new Omax lineup comes equipped with Intel's seventh generation Core i7 processors. Check them out at the link below. So what you observed just there was one of the many peculiarities when it comes to bent pins in a modern LGA type CPU socket. It can manifest in any number of ways. A failure to post altogether, an inability to detect memory inserted into certain slots, that one's actually very common, or the system can appear to be functioning completely normally. All cores detected, all 128 gigs of RAM detected. Jeez. The reason for this is that every CPU pin has a slightly different function. Some of them are wired directly through traces on the motherboard, which you can actually see. There's tons of traces around a CPU Copy socket that to a contact point on a memory slot. Uh, some of them serve redundant purposes, like to act as a, a ground pin, while others ugh, may have no functionality whatsoever, like they might be reserved for a future CPU that might go into that socket with some feature that might not ever get implemented. So that is why the symptoms of a bent CPU pin can be as obvious as the system not lighting up at all, or as subtle as slightly less stability when you're heavily overclocked. So, one way or another, we need to fix this pin. So no big deal, Linus. Send it into the manufacturer for repairs, right? Wrong. First of all, Physical damage to the product is not covered by any motherboard manufacturer that I'm aware of, and they all consider they're bent horribly bad. Physical sheesh. damage. And number two is an out of warranty repair to a CPU socket can cost as much as three hundred and fifty dollars. That's what I got quoted when I wanted to repair a socket on an X99 EWS motherboard. Even though it was a four hundred dollar board, I'm not going to run out and spend three hundred and fifty dollars 
so that I can have a B-stock board when it costs me 50 more dollars to just go buy a brand new one. So then, with that in mind, what do you need to repair your own bent socket pins? Really? With a steady hand and a sewing needle, you can probably do a pretty good job, but I've used everything from a pocket knife to a sim removal tool to a thumbtack in order to bend back pins, and I've done it with all of those with success. I even what? used the uh, pointy tweezers from an iFixit kit once. For today, we're gonna be using these picks that I actually just found here in the workshop. Organization's beautiful, right? I'm just gonna save us so much time in the future. Yeah. It was super exciting. And we're gonna be using these helping hands with a magnifying glass, something that I also recently bought, just in case someone bent a socket pin, and they did. So one of the trickiest parts of any socket repair operation is figuring out where the bent pins are. The best way to do that is to get down low, level with the socket, so that you can see whether it's straight across this way, straight across that way, or at a diagonal, you can see the gaps between the rows of pins. That's gonna make it easier for your eye to pick out any imperfections. For our case, we know exactly where it is. Holy frick. So we're gonna get up above it. Now we need to assess the damage. So we're just gonna prod at it a little bit. And this one seems pretty obvious. So you can see there's an even row of pins here, an even row of pins here, and then here, there's a missing one. Now, if this pin was broken off, we'd be in much rougher shape right now. But you can actually see that it's not. It's just bent down. So we just gotta find where it bent down to. Looks like, uh, looks like it's down right there. Wow, that is, that is dug in pretty deep there. Now, there is always a risk when you're working on something wow. like this that you will accidentally bend some other pins in the process. As long as you're careful, it shouldn't happen. Hmm. This pick might not actually be fine enough for me here. I'm gonna go back to my trusty knife. I actually use the knife more often than uh, you'd probably think for this sort of thing. So you want something that you can use to get under the pin to pull it up. There. So you can see I've pulled it up off the bottom now, but it's not quite aligned with the other pins. So the chances of it making perfect contact with the pads on the bottom of the CPU is pretty low. Now that we've pried it up from the side, the easiest way to attack it now is to go at it from underneath head on. That way you can overbend it up a little bit. So you wanna come under it this way now and overbend it up a bit because it's metal. So you can't just bend it to exactly where you want it and then expect it to stay there. Okay, cool. That was exactly the desired result there, is we bent it up a little higher than we wanted, and it settled right back in exactly where it's supposed to be. So now we can check the alignment of the pins, and we see a nice little bright dot exactly where we expected, perfectly aligned. Does that make sense? I think it does. What did you say? Let's go test it. And we're back! The system works! Very good, Linus. You fixed a working motherboard. Ah! I have another trick for you up my sleeve. This is a sacrificial board from a project we never did because someone, a different member of our writing staff, didn't realize that this motherboard wasn't gonna fit into any standard cases. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna simulate what would be a pretty common way to damage a CPU socket. Whoops, that one's actually accidental. Dropping <laughs> the CPU as you go to install. Oh, okay, yeah, we definitely hit one. Let's try again. Oh. Yeah, I'm having a pretty hard time uh, mangling the socket here. Oh, ho, ho, ho! Now that, that is a bent socket. Let's try and fix it, shall we? Something people might notice about this second round of repair here is that I'm not even necessarily gonna try and get it exactly perfect. Because what you're gonna realize is that the contact pads on the bottom of the CPU are actually reasonably big. I mean, they're not huge. You still need to get pretty darn close. 
But if you are pretty close, and you remember too, that when you put the CPU in, it pushes down into the LGA, the land grid array, then as long as you're good enough that once it gets pushed down a bit, it'll be in pretty much the right spot, then you should be good enough. Whoops. This guy over here is probably still a little bit too far out of alignment. Now you want to make sure that you don't bend them down and up and down and up too much. And if you do that, they lose their strength and can eventually break off. You can recover from that, I have done it, by straightening out the shape of the pin as long as there's enough left to get to the contact point. But it's not a sure thing and I did end up with a board that I snapped off the top of the pad and uh, was not able to go through that. Another key thing to watch out for when you're looking for bent pins is that there are places where pins are missing intentionally. So it's always good to double check against a socket diagram. You can see this corner right here. There's no pin there. That's fine. Uh, or another perfect socket that you have on hand. Okay. Moment of truth time. Okay. There we go. Fat beep is a good sign. And... CPU detected. Two gigs of memory. Yeah, that's right. Repaired motherboard. So that's pretty much it, guys. How to bring your motherboard back from the dead, assuming that there aren't other issues on it, like blown capacitors or uh, fizzled out resistors. And uh, thanks for watching. Now let's say for a minute, you make your money doing like small time computer repair like this for others. Well, then you want to check out FreshBooks. FreshBooks has- Frick me. So, it looks like we're not going to be fixing... Microsoft ain't taking this back. So, um, I don't have a magnifying glass. Whoa, wait a minute. Actually, I might have... Oh, where did I see one? Regardless, what I'm going to use, I can use the zoom on my phone. And I think we'll... If I, I just need to find a stand for my mic, cause, or, or for my phone. I think I can use that to... Uh, this. Um, I don't know if I want to use a knife. There's two pins that are uh, that are that are, that are the worst bent. Everything else is, yeah, not terrible. All right, I'll show you guys what I'm looking at here. Um, let me see if I can set this up. Use needle nose pli needle nose pliers gonna be too big. Okay, ten ten. That's a good idea. That's a really good idea. All right, so I'm gonna put this here, and yeah, we'll see if you guys can see this. a little bit so I think I'm gonna work on it like this and photo so you can see the affected area right there there's two pins on the left and it looks like the other ones just need to be straightened up a little bit oh frick that's a little too close hold on Oh frick, someone's calling. Hold on. Yeah. You almost you almost gave your phone number to everyone in chat, but yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I think I saved you. I'm souped. Do you not it does, but it shows the number underneath. I'm not on Apple. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you seeing? Are you seeing? Are you seeing the the video on YouTube? Like that's so you can kind of see the affected area. Okay. You've had worse. Okay. All right. Well, 
comb it. So do you got to comb it just down the rows? Yeah. Okay. With a razor blade. Yeah, I got a, I got a razor blade. Let me go grab my uh, I got a secondary comb holder, and uh, I'm gonna give this a shot. Oh my gosh! I, uh, I can't believe I freaking did that. Uh, I'm, 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 gonna, I'm, I'm gonna go to the bar tonight and and we can just drink all my sorrows away. This is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah no, I appreciate it. I'm gonna give it a shot. Freck me. Freaking freck me. Alright, I got a phone mount. Um I can't, let me go grab my other phone so I don't have to worry about people calling me on my phone. All right, I've got two phones here. This is the S22, so. Where did I put? Oh, here it is. Uh, you don't want to watch this terrible? Well, we are going to do one pin at a time, Tint. It's not going to comb like quick. Uh, do you have a needle tip that comes with a bottle of gun lube? That would be. Oh, I do have. I, I, oh, oh, I got uh, this. I don't know if this, be, this might be too big. The air can nozzle. I do have dental picks, yes. We got tons of different options here. Too girthy with the air tube? Okay, all right. Any sewing needles? Yeah, I don't know about sewing needles. Say razor. Well, we're gonna try. We got we, we got multiple things to try here. So let me. Oh, wow. This might be. Stay up there. Why don't that stay up there? Oh, that's a. Uh, oh. No, can I do this? Don't get blood on it. Oh, good grief. Oh, frick! I'm gonna bend another pin. Why does that not stay up? What a doofus of a freaking phone mount. Why is it? This is dumb. I think shooting is the best option. You guys. No freaking help. Trying to secure it such a way where I can watch it. Like, actually, you know what? Let's do it over here. Let's do it from this side. Can you lower the clamp down just to work through the, the what? I mean, why would I do that? Why don't I just leave it off? Son of a biscuit! A stupid mount. somewhere but I don't think okay there we go that's pretty good let me get it from this angle well that's interesting this uh, s22 oh there we go hey thanks for the sub swirly So you don't bend any other pin. Oh, stop. I ain't going to bend any other pins. This is, this is going to go perfectly. So from this angle, we got a line of things we need to fix here. Ah, 
frick. Okay, let me get her knife out, her blade out. Crap, I need to clean this a little bit. Actually, you know, I do have a dental pick. Hold on, I got a dental pick. somewhere I don't know where it's at like an actual real dental pick but <sighs> all right let me just use the regular let me try I do have a uh, some uh, floss picks here oh camera closed on phone what's up Patester This might not, this is too big, I think. Uh, Alright, let's just use our razor blade here. Wreck me. Uh, steady hands, chat, right? Oh my gosh, this is... doing this through the phone. Oh my gosh. All right, so this is tough. Wow. Um, I need to get closer. I don't think, I'm, right, you're gonna have to, guy, you guys got to go over here. Because I need to get in on this action. A little closer. I don't have a magnifier that I can mount. Um, yeah, maybe I, it might be easier just for me to do this without anything here. So let me just get in here. Wow, this is really tough. Okay, I can see one over here. see um, it's so hard to see exactly which way
I do is stop bending any other pins in the process. Ooh. BLC. What is going on here? Yeah, I don't know. I, hopefully, it's even salvageable. Okay, I see the correction. I see the correction. Okay, I need to push these to the right. Zoomed in, I can't see where I'm at. Alright, there we go. Everything's so out of focus. I can't make out. So it's on these cam on these phones. When you go to different zoom levels, it switches to a different camera. It is so hard for me to see how these pins are. Should be the flower symbol. What? Maybe. 
You guys can't see very much, but... Third row in, down. I don't know. Um, uh, the board was like 350 bucks. Mm. Yeah, I don't know if this this, this razor blade is, is ideal for what I gotta do. Oh, that meant, I think I might have got it. Yeah, I don't know if this, so I can fit this, I don't know if I can fit this razor blade. I guess I can. I got the two pins up that were affected. Man. Um. Yeah, I know. I'm just there's two pins that were particularly bent.
Man, I really do need tweezers. Um, like really good tweezers. Really small tweezers, because the where I gotta get into, there's one. What's up, zebra? There's one pin in particular that I'm having a hard time. I need to pull it up. I'm having a hard time pulling it up. Um, Oh my gosh. Um, there's one little, there's one area here. I see the problem. Very careful not to bend up any other pins in the process. Okay, so... It's looking a lot better. I'll post an updated pick here shortly. I think I should be able to get underneath all the pins on that row now and kind of make sure they're all in alignment there.
All right. Let's see if we can... Uh, so you can kind of still see the affected area is, is affected. Yeah, I mean, you just see the shadow. So I got those pins up, but... I mean, I'm just about, it's like, I know, way to go me. I'm freaking awesome. so, Bandito. Apparently so. So, it's more easily, it's more easy for me to determine, to see the discoloring, but not what specific pins are causing it.
Hmm. Hey, Zebra, thank you for the message. That's... I super appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, the prompt, but you see on the camera, you can still see a discoloration in here from the shadows. So it's like... Enough that razor. Ah. <sighs> Haven't used my left hand. in here. Okay. Wow. We're close. What's up, Moose? Uh, it's looking cleaner. I think I got all the pins brought up. might be all right. I don't know. That's awesome, Moose. Congratulations, man. Good to hear. I'm super excited for you. Wish I could witness it and watch it with you. I can bare bones it. Um, so I just got to plug in the power supply, right? And then see if it posts. Is that all I got to do? I've never done that before.
you need the GPU plugged in too? Really? Hey, Carl, thanks for the 10 bucks, man. Very appreciate it. Ugh. Yeah, I should be able to use the onboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chat, I mean, I can see the head of every pin now, whereas I couldn't before. Trying to make sure all the pins are in alignment, at the very least. Looking at it from all angles here. Not if there's anything. You're getting anxiety from watching this. Frick me. So hard to tell. Ugh. No, it's true, Moose. It's true. All right, let's see if it post. Frick. Let's see if it posts, shall we? Oh, frick, I need to free up some hard drive space here. Uh, recording is going to videos. So just, I gotta put the memory in, PSC. The cloud based I can Oops. Um, Delete some videos. It was... There we go. Need some hard drive space. All right, place your bets if it's going to work or not. Let's go and put the processor back on. Look, if it, if my if the PC keeps starts glitching, then at that point I'll go get into another board. But this one, it's like I'm not taking this back, and this is I'm not going to be able to. They're not going to take it back, nor would I expect them to. So 
It's like, if this don't work, it's, the, it's not like it's losing anything here. So there's that. Okay. Yeah, thermal. Yeah, very funny. Very funny. All right, I'm going to go just put the memory in and then uh, PSU. I don't think I need to put a cooler. I'm just going to see if it posts first. It's not going to get hot that quick. At least I don't think it will. See if I can bugger up these memory sticks. All right, where's the first is A2 and B2, which is there. All right. I think this only goes in one way. No, it doesn't go in one way. Frick. Does it only go in one way? I don't want to screw it up. Uh, yeah, it goes in this way. I know it only goes in one way. I just want to make sure it doesn't... Okay, yeah, we're good. We're good. It goes like this. It looked like it was split right down the middle. Man. I'm going to put some... There we go. Supporting it underneath. Alright, there we go. There's that. So we've got the P PSU or uh, CPU and RAM installed. Let's go ahead and get the power supply opened up here. I think it's just two connections on the motherboard, is it not? Or just one? It's just the one. I gotta jump the pins. Well, I mean, I gotta jump the pins anyway. It's easy enough to jump the pins. I, I can figure out which ones it is. Yeah, there should be a jumper. I see the jumper. Okay, so... Uh, it looks like it's just the one. Wait a minute, is this the right... It's going to go in right here. Yeah. It goes in. Uh, I got, it's got an onboard... Um, Video card or video uh, for, uh, card. I'm gonna back guys out with the hair so you see what's going on a little bit. Right, so that's fully seated on there. And then this is gonna go into here. So, other than that connection, I think that's it. This is the only thing I have to have connected, right? Just that motherboard connection. So, um, now, plug this in.
They're two by eight pins, huh? I don't think so, man. That's for the panel. Um, oh, there you go. You're right. So, on that side, right here. I got an RM100, it's a Corsair, 1000 watt. Okay, I think this, this one needs to be good enough. Might be the GPU. Well, these are. This is PCIe on there. Is that? That's just for. Um. PCI CPU. I mean, they're labeled PCI. I don't say PSU on. That's for a hard drive. Here we go, PCPU pins, here we go. Found them. So let's go this one first. More. CPU, here we go. There we go. Those in. What the frick? What the frick? Oh, this goes into the uh. They fit on there, but they go they go on the power supply side. Wow, okay. I was like, what the shiznit is going on here? So now I'm going to disconnect one of my displays here. Which crap, do I even have H display port on there? I do. Awesome. So I can just pull this monitor. So that's the that's detected. So what I'm gonna do now 
is I'm going to plug this into the wall and uh, and then I don't, I don't know if I have to have, I, pro I probably have to have a keyboard connected, don't I? Well, let's just see, let's just, let's just see if it posts. Um, without a, without a freaking, uh, without a daggum. Uh, all right, I'm flipping it. I'm flipping it. Okay, well I flipped it on. So now I gotta jump some pins, which are gonna be right over here. Fan, 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 fan. LED, LED. Fan. Where's the pins that jump it? LED, LED, CPU fan, CPU, CPU OPT, is that it? It's in the corner, what's... Uh, left bottom corner, it's over here. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, let's see if we can jump this baby. All right, so I gotta hit... No, that's audio. Where? Oh, here we go, it's right here. It's, it's over here. It's right here. It's, it's your left, my right. Okay, so we want to be... Um, I think it's just these two. Nope, that wasn't it. get a light or something on too by the way on the PSC if I didn't um that's hard it hasn't been command to send any power Plugged in, the power supply has got power. Um, so I know that for sure. There is no button on the board that I can see. There's RSTSW, what is that? I just pushed it, it didn't do anything. Um, then there's a this button here. Oh, I just did something. Light came on. CPU light came on. Oh, frick, it's lighting up. HDMI. I don't know if we have video. I don't know what happened. I've... CPU light went off pretty quick. I think it was this button here. When I pushed this button, the CPU light came on and then shut off pretty quick. CPU hot? No, it's cold. The RAM lit up too. 
looks like the PSU fan started to kick on, but then kicked off. I'm going to try pushing this button again. Okay, so what happens, it lights up, see, and then for about a second, and then it uh, turns everything off. I don't know what button this is. This says, yeah, there's a re RST button over here, but right here is another button that, that seems to be turning it on. And it's not staying on. There's also CLRSW over here. I don't know what button that does. CLRSW, RSTSW, and then Q Flash. Maybe that's what that is. Let me look up some junk here. Yes, it's Q Flash on it. It's not a power button. Okay. Okay, so that's what that's okay. Q flash is what's been turning it on for a quick second and turning it off. So it's either RST or CLRSW, I would think. But I don't think that'd be it either. Let me just get the. This, that is the worst. There's nothing in that manual. All right, PSU is off. Let me just figure out what pins the jump. Okay, power. Here we go. So I got. I found. I see where it says power, LED. Speaker. Oh wait a minute. There it is. Power. PW. Oh wait a minute. I think I found it. It's these two right here. PW. I was jumping the wrong pins. All right, we're gonna do it, chat. PSU is on, and uh, we're jumping here. Oh, I'm nervous. Okay, that didn't do anything. PW has got to be power, right? Surely that would be it. It says plus minus PW. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, frick. Oh, frick. All right, staying on longer than it has before. Power supply fan just stopped spinning, though. 
Memory lights are staying on. I got nothing on the screen just yet. Oh crap, that's getting warm fast. Um, yeah, let's... Uh, the monitor is kicking on, but it's like booting up. No signal, enter, and hand. Oh, I'm turning it off. That's got me worried. That's got that's heating up. That's crazy how fast that heats up. Um. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and let's go and touch the thing. All right. Um. Yeah, that's freaking me out. Cooling it off, chat. Alright, I don't this is gonna be fun trying to put a CP. It's gonna be weird. Oh my gosh. At this point, chat, I'm about ready to say, let's just put it all in the case. Ugh. Dang it. Freck. Don't case it. Case it. Don't case it. Case it. One hell of a radiator. That thing, see, the, the heat sink's already got thermal paste pre done on it, chat. It's, I just got these. I could just, it's got a radiator on here. That thermal paste is garbage, oh brother. Don't drop Raider on there, really? Why not? Okay, where's the CPU fan slot? CPU fan over here. CPU fan. Now what is this? Oh, this connector goes in right here. Wait, that's not it. Where's the... Where's this go? Rick, where's this one go? That is that is surely. Where's that? Uh, it's a USB plug one, really. I don't think that goes in there. not obvious how you put that in but no that's not gonna fit it's gotta go somewhere else there's nowhere else that it goes though 
That's what's crazy. Well, that's stupid. Is there an adapter in here? Oh, what is this? Oh, is that it? What is all this? Frick, what is this thing? Fans. USB. Well, what does that plug into then? Oh, it goes right there. Okay. That's where that goes. And this goes into the board. USB. Mm. Um. Okay, where does one go? That goes to USB header. That does not fit in there, though. Oh, here we go. It goes over here. USB one. There we go. It's got to be over there. Right here. Okay, that's in there. See, okay. All right, that's done. What is this? That looks like a hard drive connection. Uh, what the frick what is that for? Is that a for? Look at the freaking manual. Uh, that doesn't, it's PS, there's no, is that what that is? A power supply for PSU? Wow, it doesn't even say how to do it. It's just, this is just for the bracket. Uh, okay, just kill. All right, so you're saying it's one that kills one. Oh, yeah, you're right. Here we go. Is that the right? Yeah, that's the right connection. Yeah, the heat sink and all that's all, it's all integrated. All right, so there's that. This is going into this over here, any one of these. All right, we have all this freaking somewhat connected here. I guess, I mean, I have to frick put the bracket in, don't I, though? Just to be able to mount this darn thing. Wow. Just stick it down and hold it, maybe? Why can't I just hold it? Well, 
trick. So I have to get, I mean, I can't reuse the same thermal paste. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, that's kind of surprising. They just have exposed them there. Ah, well, in that case, I'm about ready to put this in the case. Screw this. putting it inside the case right because if it works then it's like I'm gonna have to go to I'm gonna have to go to freaking micro center oh, that's a Sunto core Harry I got some alcohol we could rinse that with. Actually, I probably should put that. Uh that bent I never did anything to bend that plate up what the frick that bent up. I don't I didn't bend that. can't do it in good faith now it's, it's all right it's, it's just it's just aesthetics no it's actually bent 1010 it's not spring loaded you, I, I did not do that you can tell it's creased right here I'm not worried it's just look I, I'm not gonna use that's still being dishonest I ain't taking it back Screws for it. 
Do the screws come with the motherboard? They come with the case. They come with the case, okay. In that case, it's gotta be these. There's not very many of them in here. There's only four of them. That's all they gave me? Really? No, we don't know if the motherboard's fixed or not. Those are SSD screws. Oh, budget. I took this out, I thought. I don't think I took anything else out. Oh, right here. This. Yeah. Here we go. All the screws. Okay. Got the, let me grab the screwdriver. Yeah, standoffs are already in there. A vehicle lift. Like a like for like a car? Like a jack stands? Is that what you're saying? I don't have a lift. I got a jack. Yeah, I'm not over tightening. I'm, I'm being very gingerly with it. Well, I got access. Um, I got access to everything behind here, so I got access to the, the back of the uh, CPU. So we're good. Nope. Thanks for checking. Appreciate it. Magnetic heads are kind of a blessing and a curse.
Okay, all screws in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so now we'll put the, let me figure out what bracket we need. Well, that sounds like a fun sea winner. That's not too hard to do. You really don't even need a lift. You just need to make sure you don't, make sure it don't move on you. TR4, AMD, AM4, Intel. So, let me go ahead and back this off. Oops, got all this crap in the way. There. Fudge up. Fudging fudge stick. It's on the Intel backplate. Okay, here we go. It's on the. Okay, this is why they put Spanish up front. What is this world coming to? Where's the English? No Espanol. Where is the freaking English? All right, the, NGL, the LGA 2011s do not require a vacuum installation. We don't have a 2011. We have something else. What is it called again? This socket is the uh, uh, freaking 1700. So, yeah. Okay. Um, so that plate's going to go on there just like so. Attach to provide Intel stand up your socket. Um, use A for use C. Okay, so I got C. It said 1700, right? Is that what you said? 100, yeah. So use these screws. Frick a brick. I just dropped that one. Okay, so it's going to go here. Screw that in. I do have a VR rig, yep. What's that movie uh, with Ben Affleck called Paycheck? <laughs> he built a computer that can see the future or whatever. Oh, brother. in there. Standoffs are in. Install the fan right here. Okay. Back down. Okay. okay, it says install the attached radiator and the fans as shown. Okay, so I got to figure out where we're going to put the fans and radiators. So, 
put the radiator radiator on forced. screws again. Is that what I'm doing? Yes, I am. Okay. No, I'm not. I'm not staying in. sunk screw. Yeah, I know. I'm just kind of surprised. I just can't believe my one that kind of blows me away. The cooler doesn't come with its own deal or its own screws. Oh, here we go. Miscellaneous. Oh, what? Miscellaneous? I can't believe this be the CPU cooler is freaking huge. This is just for the PSU or the uh, CPU. That's nuts. 
all this just for the CPU. All right. Um, Next thing we need is the freaking attaching the fans. Which fans are up right here? How do you know which way to put them on? Bracket towards the radiator. Well, I mean, they could. Okay, wait a minute. It's obvious. It's kind of obvious way to go. Never mind. Um. What? Uh, which way do I want to have these? It's all a question of cable management at this point. Yeah, it would have been much easier to do this part while well, do the cooler before I put the motherboard in. The cables towards the back of the case? Uh, I guess it makes sense. get that screw in. Wow. That blows. I gotta take off, I gotta take this uh, radiator off. Dang it. I need to go up the upper, I need to go to the up the top slots because uh, the motherboard's in the way. Yeah, yeah, all my four. Can you do fire and builds on YouTube? No, not live. I don't even know if I can do it as a VOD, actually. But I do plan on doing it on my other platform here soon. Yeah, I think uh, two of my monitors are uh, are 4K. I think. Nope, can't do it on edge. Can't even show a gun. Do I have jigs? Maybe. Why? Does seem to be a lot of YouTube stars that are pedophiles on YouTube. It's kind of weird, kind of gross. Not kind of gross, very gross. But uh, yeah, lots of allegations of uh, a lot of male YouTube YouTubers soliciting young girls. It's ridiculous. And they don't get canceled. That's that's kind of just what seems to be the case. You know, they make an apology or just kind of get swept underneath the rug. Of course, that goes for a lot of you know. It's not like it's anything new either, though. I mean, you think about there's a lot of people that you know nowadays would get super canceled. I mean, like Elvis Presley. Like, how old was he when he freaking married his first wife, whatever? I mean, it was like 14 or something. I mean, there's just a lot of weird crap that society, for whatever reason, overlooks. You know? It's like, gee, I'm a nay. It's crazy. 
No, you didn't, Macpot. Well, Macpot, don't. No one. No one. Yeah. Macpot, you just don't want to know. You don't want to know, man. You don't want to freaking know. Right, static is the worst of my, or the least of my concerns at the moment. No, you don't. You don't want to know. Go away. Go away. No one tell Macpot. Just, just let it lie. Nothing happened. Nothing freaking happened. Anything that anybody tells you is a lie. Don't believe them. Lies. It's a fake video. chat it's not the CPU it's the PS it's the motherboard that would be affected so we'll see we're getting ready to freaking find out here Thankfully, the GPU goes way over on the other side, so we're not going to worry about the fans and radiator. Radiators in. Where are the C the CPU fans are way oh, actually these go on the controller. Which is this guy right here. Oh, wait a minute, I bet this, okay, I see how it goes. There we go. 
this is the RGB. It goes on this side. I see. I see. I'm not routing you this just yet. I'm just gonna freaking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just get this connected, and then we're gonna see if it actually works. Before I get too far into this. Okay. So this controller. I mean, that's kind of. It's kind. I guess kind of convenient in that all this. All the hub, all that goes to that, and you don't have to worry. You only have one connection to the board. Um, CPU fan. Those. Oh, that's already plugged in there. This is going to that. Where did that go to again? It goes down here, doesn't it? Yeah, USB. I'm not, I'm gonna manage cables at a future time. I think we can go in like this. Yeah, that'll probably be the best. I'll just turn it like that. I just wanna make sure I got the plugs for all this. Uh, where's that go? Okay, it goes right here. Okay, so that's in there. That's plug, that's got power, that's in there. All right, so we're ready to attach this. To the uh, what the hell is that? Um, is this go? What is this? I don't even know what that is. Does that go in there? It does. fan on there okay yeah CPU OPT is that what that is I see a CPU OPT so that I, I need to plug it to CPU OPT or I need I think plug it into this thing of course this thing doesn't even say doesn't even say on there. Um, can I just plug it in this controller, I wonder? Because it's kind of weird, there's no... Is this it's a three pin I wonder if that goes in the CPU fan because at the end of the day it's got to have I bet that CPU fan I'm gonna put in CPU fan or what's OPT stand for because there's no connection there's no connectivity to the motherboard at this point it's getting, so this controller gets power from the PSU directly. Right now it's not connected to the motherboard at all. So I'm guessing this has to connect to the motherboard, but I just don't know if it goes to CPU fan. I'll guess CPU fan. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's gotta go, it's gotta go CPU fan on here. That makes the most sense to me. And all the fans are connected to this controller, which is powered up. Okay, so I'm ready to I'm going to take this off, and we're going to go ahead and start freaking. Here's the thermal paste, chat. One and done.
I think it's just some signal wire. Yeah, I took it off, uh, Fredo. Tastes like lead, Macpot. chat. How did I turn this on? Did I jump pins last time? That would be, oh, I did, I did. Well, where's the daggum cable for the case? I mean, the buttons on the case. That's my next question. So that would be more ideal. There they are. Holy crap, they're a little bored. I don't, it's not on there very. Jeez, um... Is it that? I guess it's this. right here. Alright, so I'm going to go and feed that. I'm not worried about anything else right now. Yeah, we're going to make it look nice at some point. Sheesh. Let me just, before I spend all that time doing it though, let me just make sure it's, i got to work a computer first. You know? Okay, so I think it's Okay, chat. We're ready to flip this baby on. Make sure no fans are in the way here. Take a look at that cable management. Alright, just want to make sure no fans or cables get caught up in the fans there. That'd be a bad day. Or make a bad day already worse. Um, Alright, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and plug this sucker in. Oh, wait a minute. No, I can't. I gotta, I gotta connect the freaking... Never mind. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I gotta plug all this crap in here. Okay, 
that's in there. Got CPU. There's that one. All right, we're ready, chat. Let me plug in the HDMI cable here. Moment of truth, chat. Moment of truth. Powering on here. Fans are clear. I'm hitting the power button. Once I find it. Where's that? Oh, it's up here. Power button. Have this. Boom. We got lights. Let's see if we post. Fans are all working. At least the CPU fans, I don't have the case fans hooked up. And no post. Oh, we got post. It posted. It freaking posted. Is this, wait a minute, how do I, how do I freaking verify that everything's working? Did I hook a keyboard up to it? Does that mean CPU is good? Is it going to tell me? Holy frick. Bent pin air, where? Frack! You sons of biscuits. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. I don't have the GPU installed. So am I good to put this together? That's crazy. Chat, that is nutty. Wow. Did we really just save that? Daggum. Gee whiz. Oh, gosh, take it. <laughs> Holy frick. All right, let me turn the sucker off. Wow. That was crazy, chat. Okay, well, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and get this power supply in. Mm. Jeez. We gotta cable manage this shiznit. Okay. Holy shit. All right, let's go ahead and get the uh, power supply in. I'm gonna do that, uh, of course, on way over here. It's gonna be 
going in uh, right here. Yeah, I'll get the M2 and all that junk. Why not? How do I get the PSU in there? Hold on. Well, how do I get it in there? So we probably ought to figure out cables first, and then we'll plug that in, and then we'll mount it. Um, okay, so, um, cable management, frick me. Here's where the magic happens, on the back side of the board. I don't know where to put this controller. This controller, I'm actually, I'm gonna unplug all this. This looks crappy. this controller down in here so it's out of the way so I need to take all those fan cables I'm going to take it out the back side here yeah this case is pretty cheap all things considered it's not bad This is a $2,600 rig, I think. Yeah, the, the GPU was 1300 Half the cost was just the GPU. Or another way to think about it is the GPU was just as much as the entire PC. This is uh, Christmas lo-fi is all this is. I don't seem to get copyright hits on it, so that's why I use it. Um, okay, so there's that. I'm going, I'm going to connect my... Uh, get some... Uh, 
LED or the uh, switch connections. Let me get those in there real quick. So I got the power reset SW. MacPot, don't even say it. Plus on that side. What's wrong with that, V6? Okay, so that's all in there. All the switches are connected. That's all connected. Um, got these uh, CPU power connections. Take those out. What's up, John? Just uh, finish out the build here. So there's those. Looking cleaner in here already. Okay, so that's all looking real clean. Okay, so now we come to the back side here. Try to make sense of all this. So I gotta figure out what all these connections are for this board they got here. Um, LED, LED, LED. So I guess there's a lot of LED on this freaking case. And then these connections, I'm guessing for the USB. Yep, USB on the board. So I probably will want to take that back out. Um, also want to take this back out as well. That's for the USB. I don't know what this, oh, this is the audio. That's what that is. It's USB and audio. Now where it wants to go out here. USB and audio, let's take that. Yeah, it's your guys' fault. None of this would have happened had I been doing this on my own. Just, just so you know. Okay, there's the USB. And now I got... Oops, not that. Where's that? This guy's audio cable. Nothing, John. Nothing happened.
pretty sure it's the audio port. I think. Yeah, HD audio. It is. Okay, so we need to figure out how to get to right there. So I'm just going to just route back there and just come out from underneath here. in there all right last thing what's this here this is some type I don't even know what this is it's not even labeled motherboard I in I don't know what that what does that mean it says motherboard in m slash b dash in what the frick does that mean? Is that like a fan controller? Because this controls the case fan, so it makes sense it's got to have a connection to the board somewhere for the case fans. the in connection. You guys are a bunch of smart a-holes, aren't you? Aren't you? I think you're so smart there. Um, that's a four or three pin thingy. There's a D lead one. It could be, it could be D lead one. Um, nothing there. D lead two. There's D lead C two. Uh, could be any of those. Hmm. Well, it's a three pin, but it's not three. I mean, you see us? I don't know if well, you guys can see this. It's uh, it's yeah, it's a weird type of connector. an ARGB. What's ARGB? There's a BRG 12 volt on here, but it's got four pins on it. RGB type headers. Okay, so I do see an R, a BRG. I bet it's GDV, D LED 2, because that's the only LED deal that I see. It's got three pins that matches that. So we're going to try that. We're just going to try it. We're just going to do it. Frick, I can barely see in here. 
There we go. Okay, that's in there. That's got to be what that was. All right, that's in. the specs um someone's got the specs I, i'd have to i don't even know if i got the link someone's got the link um how do i hit where's the okay button okay there we go there we go so now i can move this over here and see what you guys are saying all right cool um all right so that's all done what is this that's fan. All right, these are all fans. Copy that impulse. That's what I did. Uh, thank you. Um, that's what is this? That's power. Take this all out for now. Okay, I think I got everything um, out. I guess I should probably go ahead and just go ahead and, and put up the uh, put in the GPU as well, just that way, that way everything's routed and uh, ready to go. So this is the fun part, chat. Putting in the monstrosity of the GPU. This thing. Okay. Oh, M2. Yes, we need M2. I don't even know if I brought that inside. That actually is still in the freaking car. Let me go grab it. Uh, where's my keys at? Uh, yeah, I got a copy of Windows 11. I went in and just bought it on a USB key. I didn't want to jack with it. All right, right back to the rest of the truck.
Crazy chat. Where? I don't think I brought it in. Here's my Windows 11. What in the shiznit? Memory, you. I did bring it home. I think.
Well, now I'm freaking beginning to wonder if I ever took it out of the deck of shopping cart. Does did anyone does anyone uh, recall if I showed that and I showed that on stream the other day? I did show it on stream. Okay, okay, okay. All right, then I know I brought it in. Showed at Sonic, okay. I looked under the seat. It's in the center console of the truck. Inside the console? Wait a minute, I put it inside the console? Oh, okay, hold on. Check between seats, yes. Gonna make me go crazy. I checked the glove part. Um, GPU.
I did not have it. At, I did not have it at the start of the stream. I don't think I brought it in from, from earlier, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to. Uh, what? Hey, did they literally give me a disc? They give me a no. Okay, good. I was like, did they give me a disc? Like, who in the world uses discs? Oh my gosh, chat. Holy for holies. That is insanely large. It's got brackets for something. No manual. Um, I think it'll be alright. Where's the M2s go? M2s go, uh... I don't even know where they go. Under the GPU? The PCI is your CPU too. Those are my PCI Express ports. Oh, right here is where they go. Okay, like there's a heat sink here. Okay. I was like, what? Why is there a heat sink there? Oh, those go on top of the in Okay. I see what you're saying. Those are going to go on top of the... Uh... Went back and watched, and you had windows you put up on the side of the desk. Let's see. Right, Charlie, but I did not have them to drive. What's up, Mahida? This is weird. Why they got all this crap on there? I've never seen this before. It's got sticky tape. Yeah. It would definitely be better to stick those on there. I see what you're saying. That GPU is going to be right in my way. Um, or I could take the GPU out, sit down. I just, wow, those sitting there flat. So I removed that sticky stuff and then it lays flat in there, huh? Jeez. That's weird. I'm going to put that back. Yeah, I'm not going to take that thermal pad off. Oh, hold off. Did I not put that in there right? There you go. Okay. Let's take this GP out. Holy shiznit. This thing is a monster. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. I'm just like, it's just...
better take this plastic off now. So there are these brackets in here with no instructions of how to utilize these. I'm assuming this helps support the weight. So actually, let me go ahead and lay this down. Without damaging any cables if I can. Ridiculous, utterly, completely ridiculous. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to take off this other plate. Dang. Wait a minute, it's got a freaking guard on it. Wow. <laughs> that is crazy. Put the brackets on before. Well, let me. I guess I gotta figure out how those brackets even work. Okay, I think I see how that goes. Okay, no, I'm not so really sure. I wish they'd tell you. Imagine doing that. But there's no, that comes with no directions. Like that, which makes sense. Uh, I don't know what that is, impulse. I would read it. I too would read it. So it's got these three holes on the side here. So I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, I don't think so, impulse. So there's three holes here. But I don't know what that does for me. This 
goes in like that. And this goes in like this. Okay, those gotta go in like that. Okay. I, I think I figured out where this goes. Problem is, is this thing come with any screws? Like, really? Not. No screws. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. Oh, I grab screws out of here. I don't think I grabbed the screws out of here. I just grabbed. This is very new. Um, oh, here we go. Found the directions. Ah, now I just gotta find English. And very ambitious are all over there. Secure the graphics card bracket with screws. Yeah, doofus. What freaking screws? And you don't even show there's no pictures or nothing. Oh my gosh. All right, graphic card anti-sag bracket. Here we go. Oh, snap. This connects the motherboard. What? That goes on like that. Good night. Really? Holy shiznit. Yeah, it replaces two standoffs in the motherboard. I still don't know, I still don't understand how that works. Because it's saying it's going to go in like that. How's that going to... How's that going to help? Okay, I see, but I don't see how that, there's a thousand different, wow, okay, I see how to do it, it's just kind of crazy. Oh, man. So I got to take off these two standoff screws over here. The 
prick. Is that not thread? You better freaking thread. What? Is that not the same thread? It's a different thread. It looks like the same thread. Okay, that's why they sent me four posts. There's actually two types in here. again take these off and get the washers on since that's what they call for Two different size washers. What the frick? That's what's that's silly. These washers don't even fit over. If you look at it, there's a shoulder. I know you guys can't see it, but. Doesn't even fit. See how it's staying up? It didn't go all the way down. Stupid. No washer. Not doing it. It's not how it's supposed to be because it won't even reach the freaking. Because right now, it's literally touching the monitor. That shoulder is inside the, the screw hole. So, whatever. Okay, so now we can do this in a washer.
Okay, that one's on there. So that's that. That's just the weirdest thing. I don't. I don't. Oh shoot! You just dropped the washer in there. Washers or crap washers. One thing I need is that. Um, okay. So now I can put these on the GPU. Lack of washer is more scary to me than GP. Oh, good grief. Washers are always optional, don't you know? Uh, red, um, I'm not sure. Um, I still gotta figure out how that's gonna work if I decide to do that. I gotta figure out what makes sense. Why 
want you going in. You should be just falling in there. Oh, there we go. That's why. There we go. Boom. Now it's going to secure to this. Oh, come on. There we go. Wow, okay, so there's the bracket for holding that on. Jeez. Now this. Okay, that's in there. Um, I am missing a screw. Where did that screw go? Where did that go? I don't think that is the right. Is that the right one? No, it's not it. This is, for, this is for the freaking. I don't know where they were going now. Oh, you know what? It was this. That goes in here. This goes in there.
can't put this in there because it's hitting the freaking GPU. What the frick? Don't put that in. It's just, but I got a gap over the top of it. I don't like gaps. Oh. Mm. Uh, aftershocks. All right, fine. Let's get the gap. Okay. Whatever. Yeah, I guess I could try that and see if it's got any play. I don't. It's just the whole thing is in the way, though. Even from the freaking base of it, where it can't move. Just enough to force it in here. Oh, there we go. Good call, good call. Give me a millimeter of space. Alright, that's in there. So, wow, this one connector goes in here. Okay, go. And it's gonna take three power connectors. Holy shiznit. That's nutty. Golly. Three of them? Can I not use, t do they need to be separate? Can I not double up on, on at least one of these cables? Separate, wow, okay.
No, we're not daisy chaining. We're just use the very one from the very far end. Use them all. Okay. We'll go out and stand this up now. Jeez. Well, I don't got any sag at least. That's good. Just enough length in that cable. I can probably have that secondary connector not showing, so that's nice. Wow, okay. Chat, that's everything. So now, we gotta freaking clean this shiznit up. Um, good night. Talk about a nightmare. Uh, it boots, says it boots. We've already checked that. Thank the Lord. What was this for? That goes, that's a good thing as well. Okay, so. Put that right there for now. That goes into the controller. Which is over here. RGB to RGB. Okay, boom, boom. Yeah, well, the M2 doesn't have any cables to it. It's on, it mounts the bridge to the board, right? So there's, that's easy. Although I might have to take the GPU out for a second. 
Yeah, this is for my fans and my cooler. So it's got its own separate. It's got its own fan controller for all the fans. Uh, Craig, I, I don't know. There's a whole separate, I guess I could. Because there are. Yeah, because I could take these fan connections out of here and put it into it. So I guess I could do that. And the rest of those are LEDs. And I, but I, they're not the same type of connector though. So I don't know if it, I don't know if it matters. These control the two front fans in the front of the of the of the PC. Maybe I should do that. Math still here. Oh, okay. All right. All right, so that part's done. So now we can get on to this business over here because I think everything's routed pretty much for the back side or front side so now we just figure out all this so this is gonna be a power connector um, so let's get a connector cable for it so this is gonna connect just like so it's done I'm gonna stick this and go in there. Get out of the way. As best we can. <laughs> Jeez. This is a god awful mess. Okay, um I got some small zip ties, I'm gonna try using them. So these are my fans and lights. Did I 
Okay. Alright, got him. Chat, grab that. Grab me a drink. Back to work. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm grabbing to clean this up. That's what I'm doing. Bad zip tie. Yes, root beer. PG stream. Barks has caffeine. I don't, I prefer A&W. I taste A&W anyway. Sonic guys, perfect. Did post, yes. Wow, I'm 
Oh, is that gonna fit in there? Frick. I know, I should be going to bed too. I mean, I, I keep on going to bed late. I keep telling myself I'm gonna change it, and I just, I don't change. I'm just, you know, set my ways, chat. I'm just set my ways. That should all fit pretty nice. Frick, I hope. Man, that's gonna be tough right there. I think it'll be good though. Okay, so the rest of that. Oh shoot. Is that another one? Oh, I can use this one, can I? Yeah. Use this I don't even know what that is. It's probably just more LED lights, so we're probably fine. Cut that with this connector. Daisy chain. Boom, boom. All right. Homeward bound. Final stretch. Uh, yeah, last thing the connect uh, put in is the PSU. So I'm just, you know, um, that's uh, that's what I'm doing here. So now all I think got left is the PSU. So I figure now what I'll do is I'll uh, connect everything and then put it in and then we'll be good to go. Alright, I know this is for the uh, I think this is for the CPU. Yeah. This is for the CPU. So I'll make sure that goes in the CPU slots. CI CPU, yep. Here, here. Uh, probably not booting this thing tonight, but I can't find that M2. So, which sucks, but it is what it is. for the freaking graphics cards. We've got two for this processors, two for the CPU, three for the GPU, one for the RGB lights and the motherboard, and that's it. So this, I'll make sure it's coming around here. Come through like that. So that it's not to strain anything. Be good. So let's go ahead and get that in there up here. It's going to slide in. Ooh, it's tight. Yeah. 
Jeepers. Yeah. Can that not go in after I connect it all? Frick. Oh, shoot. Ah. I think I got a. I think I need to spike this root here. Um, yeah, I got a freaking. I can't connect these until after I put it in there. Oh shoot! Okay. Okay. It should be pretty easy. Never mind, this is gonna be a pain in the yin yang. So I gotta get all these connectors inside of freaking there with that little space. Ah, Jeepers! Frick me! Take out a drive bay. I don't think I can remove that. Or can I remove that bay? I think that's riveted in there. Oh, wait a minute. No, it's not. Maybe I can take that out. Hold on. Oh, there we go. I didn't have to unplug all that. Frick. Um, I don't even need this cage in here. Honestly, I don't have a hard drive and stick in it. Well, I might eventually. The hard drive goes on the motherboard. And I'm gonna have two terabytes on board. Um, and then if I need more, I'll, probably, I'll get another two terabyte, um, another two terabyte SSD. I didn't have to unplug all that. I could have left it plugged in. Could just leave it like this for now. Alright, plug in another board. First. Four 
first method. All right, chat. Last thing is to shove these cables in there. Again, this is not seen, so I'm not too worried about it. This is the back side. I will go ahead and throw this up, though, just to kind of keep these somewhat in control. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to or not. We'll see. We'll see. Place your bets. Oh, wow. It does. Pretty easily, it might add. So there's enough of a gap in there. Thankfully, that allows me to close that. Wow, that was easy. I guess I did pretty good on my cable management. Look at that. All right, let's take a look at the back here. I'd say that's relatively clean. Relatively clean. I mean, there's a few things I could do to make it a little cleaner, but I'm not too worried about it. I think we're good, chat. I, Mac, I know, I know, but holy crap! Look at this GPU. That is insane. So that bracket, you see that bracket there? It attached to the motherboard. And it's got an L, and it just kind of gives it another support with this arm here. That's nutty. Well, other than the hard drive, which I got to find, um, I, I hope I don't think it'll be too big of a deal, but. The hard the, the M2s go right here above the GPUs. So that might be a little problematic. Um, so, Racy a spark slide? Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean up in here for just a second and see if the hard drive comes up. Um, yeah, it does have GPU support, so it's actually you see this bracket back here. It actually attaches to the motherboard stand standoffs. And uh, and uh, gives it a little more support back there. So I don't know where that I don't know where the hard drive is, chat. Um, I'm gonna go back out and look for one, for one more time and uh, see if we can find it. I was hoping to get this thing updating, 
you know, throughout the nights. It's going to have Windows updates. I'm going to download a couple games, get them ready, and all that stuff. But be sure to follow on Instagram because I will post a video of this guy's boot and what it looks like. So, double check the GPU power into that 48, please. I have. I've double checked it. Everything's fully seated. There's only one connector going into the GPU, and it's got three uh, of those uh, SAT or connections, or whatever. Oh, Jen, I know I bought it. I just don't know where it's at. Yeah. What's up, Nicholas? Yep. All the tape fans are plugged in. I guess I could go and boot it. Just for the hell of it. Um, it's just going to make sure all the fans are working. So I didn't... Uh, I'm not going to connect it back up to a monitor or anything. Push the power button. And then come on. Yeah, you gotta turn it to the on position. Oh, nice. Fans are kicking on. Wow, that's got a little uh, little daggum club action going on there. It's got the front RGB going off. Um, the memory looks pretty cool. That cooler looks pretty freaking awesome. Um, looks like, uh, yeah. Looks like a daggum party going on in there. GPU kicked on. That's good. GPU fans are on. So, without hooking up to a monitor, um, I'd say it's uh, she's ready to rock and roll. Well, I can always, I mean, I can change the RGB color, I think. I, mean, I can program it to whatever I want it to be. So, um, I will definitely, uh, definitely do that. Yeah, this was uh, this is one hell of a stream. Holy frick. Four hours and 49... Son of a biscuit. That's nuts. That is absolutely insane. Wow. I can't believe it took me that long. I was only planning on doing this like 8 or 9 o'clock and then saying, oh, I'll finish it off tomorrow. But, uh, nope. Glad we got her done. Is that Corsair logo upright? Did I put that upright? Or is it turned? <laughs> uh, I guess you can't even see that Corsair logo. Is that Corsair? Uh, is that, there you go. Is that, is that Corsair logo the way it's supposed to be? You can turn it. Yeah, I'm not gonna move it. Okay. I just so I wasn't. I never. I never paid attention. <laughs> But I'm glad it worked out because I don't know how else I would have done it. Um, so I got some of those loose wires right there. I might try to snug those up some. I don't know. Can't remember what that's for. Those are the uh, those are fan wires. So all right, I'm gonna shut this off. And power button here. Alright, there we go. Play out the wall. Let's see if we can push those out of there. Ah, uh, might have to pull them from the other side. Yeah, it's not connected it's not connecting a mod or anything.
cool. So that looks a little better. Yep, I will let you guys know we're going to do some gaming on. Uh, well, frick, I don't know if we'll be doing game. Well, we might try to do some gaming on tomorrow. If I got time. I got a lot of crap got to get done tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, hopefully we get some. A uh, little bit of game time on it. But I leave for Texas Friday morning, so I got to get ready. M2s, man. I just got the one M2, but I gotta find it. I forgot where it went. Appreciate you guys. Thank you for your help and in some cases your uh, pessimism. It's, you know, it's good. It's good to have pessimism. So it just fires me up to get her done. chat it's time for bed time for bed y'all have a good evening thank you again for all the help appreciate it and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow at some point we're gonna hopefully if I can find those M2s um, we'll be uh, good to go and be able to start uh, testing this stuff out so be sure to hit that thumbs up and I uh, appreciate that if you could do that for me real quick otherwise have a good evening we'll catch you guys tomorrow